All right, guys, how's it going? Now, don't forget, this Friday afternoon, right here on TV, we're having the Cotsaw Christmas party, that's right, from the afternoon right through to the evening until we're dead. Well, not dead, dead. Hopefully not. Uh, so I expect you to pop along and show your face, well, your username, at least once on Friday. And I'll be making a note of who does and who doesn't. And if you don't buy me a Christmas drink on Friday, you are DTM. Dead to me. All right. How are you doing? You all right, yeah? Good. All right. There's not much happening, is there, guys, to be honest? It's a bit chilly, like I've had to put fire on. <laughs> Ooh, it's lovely. Um, so, uh, what we can talk about is boy George. Uh, George, 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 Schmatch, the sporting director at Liverpool. He's fucking useless. <clears throat> all right, okay. But what is it with, like, Liverpool supporters, right? They have this blind loyalty. Do you know what I mean? Like... If you dare to speak up and say, I don't actually think that Endo, you know, he's, he's good enough for Liverpool. He's, oh, you're not supporting, are you? True fans would be behind him. Yeah, we're behind him, all right. We're the fucking... No, but I mean, like, actually against Manchester United, right? Because I know what you're going to say next. You go, Man United, he, he shouldn't be singled out for, for that game. No, but what about every other fucking game? Come on, guys. It's just nonsense. It's like Darwin Nunes, sack of shit. Come on, guys. Be honest. Stop deluding yourselves. Hey, if I'm wrong, I hope so, right? If I'm wrong, I hope so. I really do hope I'm wrong, but I'm not. DKB, don't know his best. It's not just a fucking slogan, that, you know. I'm telling you, he's sack of shit. He's crap. He's garbage. Get rid of him. Sell him. No, I don't sell him because you won't get anything for him. Look, the thing is with Liverpool, right? Liverpool fans, you know, very good support. But what you have to understand is, just because you speak up and say, well, I don't really rate Jordan Henderson. You get them other divs that come out then and go, hey, you're not a real fan. Do you know what I mean? Liverpool lose a game, right? It's like, ah, oh, like Liverpool was shit. It's terrible. People are like, if you can't support us when we're losing, don't support us when we win. You know what I mean? Just say, get a grip. Do you know what I mean? They're like them lefty lovies out there. Just knock it off, guys. Some things in life you just cannot argue with, right? And that is that currently, Darwin Nunes is shite, and Endo is just doing... just He's not going to play for Man City, is he? Or Arsenal, or out like that, is he? Right? You know what I mean? I'm not picking on him. I'm just, what I'm saying is just be fucking honest with your valuations, or whatever you call it, not valuations. What's it called? We just call it observations, whatever you want. And my observation regarding Boy George is he hasn't really done it, has he? Do you know what I mean? He's brought in on a temporary deal, right, with an ex a, a view to extend it. Now, was it three months and then they've extended it up till now? Or did he think it was a year and it was going to be extended again? Uh, but, you know, I just know, right, that you're going to see all this guff from the top reds and, and, and the fucking the, the clicky journals that deal with Liverpool. Do you know what I mean? They'll tell you how his, his time at Liverpool was a success, how he oversaw the signing of these players that have been amazing. Let's be honest, we could have done what he fucking done, and I'll tell you why, right? One, you and me, right, we could have triggered them contract clauses, right? Number fucking one, right? Two... Endo, do you reckon that was a difficult deal to make happen? Really? Do you really think so? And what about, right, what about uh, Ravenberg, for example, that we knew was wanting to move from before the window even opened? See, I'm not having it, guys. I'm not having it. Might be a lovely man. And you're going to see, right, I think you're going to see things like uh, it was Klopp's recommendation and it was uh, Klopp's good friend, you know, and all that. You're going to see all that. Because it, it depends who's saying it. Because there's some people in Germany that when he got the Liverpool job, they were like, what the fuck? You know what I mean? Like, this is way out of his league. And there was people saying, uh, some some journalists in Germany saying, all this stuff about him and Klopp being close is a load of nonsense. You know what I mean? I think they shared a room once or something like that. Hello, what's going on there? Uh, do you know what I mean? Hashtag no homo. But... We have this tendency, and it, I don't know, it just frustrates me. Now, what I like is when people like Miserable Martin comes on the stream and says that an endo is just wank dunk. <laughs> you know, even I'll go, well, yeah, but he's all right, isn't he? Sucky, sucky, long time, long time. Long time. If you don't know what that video is about, or what that, that it doesn't matter. Um, but, <sighs> listen, I, I want Nunes to be good. I, I want Endo to be good. 
but they're not. <laughs> there you go. There's, you can say what you want. You can caps lock me to death, right? But I'm telling you right now, I'm telling the fucking truth. Now, Nunes, maybe he'll come good. Maybe. But maybe he won't. Endo, I oh, can't wait for it. Why, why are you singling Endo out? I'm not talking about... It's not singling him out. Do you know what I mean? It's just telling you about certain players that are just not our standard. Well, it depends on what the standards are. The other day, James Pierce wrote an article and with the little bit of text that he put out of his post said something like, Liverpool uh, have exceeded expectations so far this season. Well, why did have we won something? Like, what the fuck are you talking about? What have, what have we won? We're competing. Oh, wow. Liverpool Football Club are competing. Ooh. See, my expectations when I was younger during the war, right, was Liverpool win fucking everything. That was the expectations. This is the shite that the pedal. This is the shite that the pedal, guys. I'm telling you. Now, George might be a lovely man, but he. he, 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 he he, was he difficult to recruit? He was tempted out of retirement. <laughs> yeah, just like I'd be tempted to the kitchen upstairs if someone shouted down there's a bacon sandwich ready now. Yeah, oh, let me think about this for a fucking minute. See you know what I mean? No, I'm not having it, guys. I'm not having it. Boy, George, absolute waste of time, man. Honestly, I could have done that fucking job. Seriously. And, right, and what was I going to say? You know what, my mem... Ooh. I need to turn that down a bit. I, 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 I swear down, it, what, it, it feels warm. It's weird that and that works, isn't it? Hmm. Uh, what was I saying? And boy, George. Oh, but listen. Mm. He's still got time to prove himself, right? He's still got time to prove himself because... <laughs> On the Cop Talk VIP members' website. Yes, I... You're mentioning your memberships, eh? Yeah, I'm grifting. That's fucking right. Too right, eh? I've got bills to pay. But I tell you what I don't do is I don't stoop so low as these content creators that have been around these parts for a few fucking months. You know what I'm saying, guys? But no, I mean, nah, do you know how long I've been around? I'm not. Someone will tell you in the comments section. Quarter of a century, all right. But my point is, right, I am going to mention something from the Cop Talk VIP members place, right? And don't be salty about that. Do you know what I mean? Just because you're not VIP. You know what I'm saying? Uh, let's have a look. Where the fuck is it? Now, I was told... I'm going to let you into a little secret, right? That's not even on there. I was told about this yesterday. But it's only gone on there today because I couldn't say it. This person told me, but they chose not to divulge it until today. Right, let's have a look. No, oh, I'm not going to read it word for word, right? But my sources, right? Can you tell I'm in a good mood? I've just been daft. It's only because I've just had some sausage. <clears throat> Sausages, I mean, with uh, with with ketchup uh, and scrambled egg. Yeah. Right, listen, let's just knock off the games for a minute. So, Boy George was in Germany. This is not what it says, word for word, but Boy George has been in Germany this week exploring two opportunities. Stuttgart and Leverkusen is where he's been. Now, I don't know how to pronounce these names. Uh, Piero Hincape, Hincape, you know what I mean. I've seen a bit of chat to do with him, actually. And Suro Gurassi. Gur um, I need to burp. Someone... Didn't I have a, a, a piece of cheese on here one day? Someone said, is that necessary? Yeah, it is necessary. I do what I want on my YouTube channel. Um, these two players... Oh, right, yeah, right. Okay, so let me start again. This is, this is, a, this is a serious thing, right? At this, but we'll go back to the giggles in a minute, shits and giggles in a minute. But this is genuine uh, from one of the best contributors on there that any of the VIP members would, be, would, would verify. Uh, who this person, you know, is, if you like. Uh, and the track record is just very good. Um, so they're saying that George was in Germany this week exploring two opportunities. I read things very carefully. So that doesn't say trying to sign 
two players. It doesn't say working on two deals. It doesn't even say working on two potential deals. Exploring two opportunities. Now, exploring opportunities, I would think, uh, is making inquiries. Now, you don't go all that way when you can make inquiries over a telephone. So you might be having a sit down with someone somewhere in some capacity, be it, um, you know, representatives of a football club, you know, the, the football club itself or uh, third party representatives, agents, uh, it could be the players agents or anything. But these two names have been put forward because from what I understand, these two players are at those two clubs in those uh, two cities or two towns or whatever. Um, but I'm not, I don't follow German football, guys. I've got to be honest, fucking shy. Um, but this person says that conversations somewhere, I can't say where on here, uh, it does say on, on, on the members' website, point to these two players. But there may be others. This is just chatter between colleagues over lunch. Now, the just chatter bit between colleagues over lunch is relating to those players, not the fact that... George, uh, not the Clayton, but the George has been in Germany. So we can take it that George was in Germany. He has been to Stuttgart and Leverkusen. The names that have been put in there is that bit that's going with it. So the people that are saying, oh, I'm just letting you know, George has just got back from where is it? Oh, ah, yeah, yeah, he went to such and such and such and such. All right, yeah. Yeah, well, I think he's working on, right? Now, the thing is, these conversations are coming from uh, people... that would be within within the environment of Liverpool Football Club, let's just say that. Now, there is an additional bit. Um, our scouts were also at Stuttgart against... We're also at Stuttgart against Bayern Munich on Sunday. What does that mean? At Stutt what, what, Stuttgart by... Where was it? Where was that game? Was it played at? A fucking predictive text, either that or fat fingers. I know what you're thinking, yeah, but the girls don't mind. Stuttgart be, be, be oh my fucking god. Stuttgart, Bayern, Munich. It was at Bayern, so it was at Munich. Okay, so what that means then is. Yes. Okay. So basically, our scouts were at the game at that game. So maybe that is to do with that uh, Stuttgart bit. There you go. So Boy George may be leaving. Uh, he may not. Who knows? Maybe it's just rumours. Um, but the suggestions are that he's been to. Well, no, this I can tell you right now. He's been to Germany. Um, who he might be working on, or not, I, I have no idea. So let's see. What do you think? <sighs> If he leaves at the end of January, then surely they've got someone else lined up. But our owners don't work like that, do they? Um, I did put an article out about this, uh, well, about him possibly leaving. That's on the front page of coptalk.com right now, if you want to go and read it. Uh, there will, I'm sure there'll be follow-up to the, if you If you are on the members' website, uh, there will be a follow-up to that, I imagine, today. Or people will start commenting on it, so maybe we'll know a bit more later. I haven't really look, uh, looked into these two players. I know about uh, Incape. In fact, there's something here uh, just coming out. Uh, I monitor keywords um, on the internet all the time, in real time. So if you see any of these accounts and you recognise them, don't think I follow them because I can assure you I don't. Uh, these are just keywords. So even a shitty account... That I do not pay attention to if they mention a key word that I'm monitoring it will come up on here uh, and apparently Neil Jones I'm not I personally I am going to listen to what Neil Jones says uh, some people call him Bridget uh, Liverpool definitely admire Hinkepe Hinkepe uh, Jurgen Klopp hinted recently that Liverpool may find it hard to get the player they really want in January but they are certainly looking in a young mobile Ball playing centre back is high on their agenda, so it looks like there is some stuff uh, coming out.
So, I don't know, just listen, just keep, keep, keep your eyes and your ears open. Yeah. All right, that's it, I think. I bought off me uh, tits, to be honest with you. Have I told you about this? I've got one of these, like a Yeti. It's not product, pre well, it is product, pre I'm not getting paid for it though. Um, because I'm not an influencer. Do you know what? I'll tell you what, when you see these Liverpool fan accounts, right, on social media, pushing kits and merchandise and fucking Christmas fucking lucky dips and all, I, I, I tell you, I, come on, it tells you what their fucking game is. I don't think it's just a flask. It is this, if you ever ask this, I've tried all sorts of people, this Yeti things fucking mint. And I think they get counterfeited because there's like a, a thing image underneath. I bought one of these from my best friend, Smooth in America. Because I know he likes his coffee in the morning. I bought him one when I was out in America last year, was it? And uh, he told me it was amazing. So I bought myself one. And it's full of Yorkshire tea biscuit brew. And then he burnt my fucking mouth off its apple. Right. <clears throat> Christmas party. Listen, we're going to get hammered on Friday, so you better come along. <clears throat> I don't know, listen, if you're a Muslim and you're thinking, I can't buy you a drink, Dunk. It goes against Islam. You shouldn't be drinking alcohol. That's fine, buy me a coffee then instead, all right? Just fucking say it. CupTalk.tv, right here, Friday afternoon, uh, right through until we get banned. <laughs> Um, do come along. Uh, if you if you if, if you appreciate this video, you don't have to like the video. But if you appreciate, it, please do give me a thumbs up. If you want to buy me a Christmas present, uh, you may do so. In fact, let me just. I want to give an acknowledgement here. Uh, it's from yesterday. Uh, Keith Waterson. He was on the. Um, the stream yesterday and today, uh, and he sent he sent he sent me something through PayPal, which is PayPal.me forward slash Duncan Oldham. He sent me something for Christmas, and he said, "Hola, brother, I've a part of me at Christmas. Thanks for all your hard work. How nice is that? Do you know what I mean? I'd rather people, you know, that are in a position to support me, you know, to buy me a drink every now and then or something like that, than me come on here fucking, you know, pimping out the latest Liverpool FC kit." Do you know what I mean? Like, I, I can't be doing with that. Probably make a fortune if I did it, but... Or what these... You know, you see these YouTubers, don't you, man? Like, shaving the balls and all that. Like, do you want to buy one of these fucking super-duper shavers to shave me nuts? Well, not buy my, my nuts. I mean, shave your nuts, your own nuts. You know what I'm saying? Manscape, is it? It's a fucking joke, man. I ain't got time for any of them people. <laughs> I'm bitter, man. I, I don't like them. I don't like. I think you should do do stuff like this for the love of it. Do you know what I mean? You should do it for the love of it. Uh, and uh, if you need to push products or services to generate revenue, there's nothing wrong with that. If you're paying for something to bring that to everybody, do you know what I mean? If you're just running a shitty Twitter account, does it fucking cost you anything? Does it? Oh, it's not my business. I don't know, it just annoys me. It annoys me because then there's good people out there. Like Adam Naylor, for example, he's got a great Liverpool news channel, Liverpool FC video channel. Oh, I don't know what it's fucking called. A YouTube channel, Adam Naylor, hashtag AKM. He started that because I'm my DKB, by the way. Because, you know, we're having a bit of banter. Whatever that, I always forget I've got a memory like a sieve, so I always go ask Adam. So Adam's got this thing now, AKM, Adam knows more. Anyway, what I'm saying is you've got people like Adam that are genuine, genuine Liverpool supporters um, that won't mislead you, uh, won't try and sell you anything, but probably get a fraction of the views of these wankers that, you know, I'm not, I'm not going to say, I saw a video yesterday, it was quite, it was circulating social media yesterday and I don't know. Look after, look after Adam, I like Adam, I think he's great. Cheeky little cunt, AKM. <clears throat> How long has he been around these parts? Did he say in one of his videos? He was taking the piss out of me. All right, guys, did you know I've been around here about 15 months? He's taking the piss. Mm. <clears throat> he better buy me a drink on Friday, little fucker. <laughs> <laughs> yes! I'm in a good mood, kids. I'm in a good mood. Do you know I'm in a good mood? Because I'm making a video for you, love. 
<laughs> there's nothing to talk about. There's nothing to talk about, and that's my point. So if there's nothing genuine to talk about, how come these numpties out there that are selling you things to shave your balls and that have found something to talk about every fucking five minutes? Do you know what I mean? Tells you what their motives are, doesn't it, guys? Anyway, boy George, he's... boy George, right? George, Jorge Schmatka, useless sack of shit, right? Not good enough for Liverpool Football Club. Darwin Nunes, time's running out on you, sunshine. Do you know what I mean? Someone said, who the fuck was it that said that? Someone said, you can't judge a striker by how many goals he scores. <laughs> he's, uh... <laughs> oh, he's got the best amount of passes in the league. Or something like that. Do you know what I mean? No one said that. But, come on, seriously. Come on. <laughs> this is what I mean by supporters where they try to make it sound like just at some point you, you've got to stop defending and go do you know what? maybe he's just shit come on Darwin we, we want him to listen when I was seeing Darwin Nunes right turn it on you know what I mean he's fucking good do you know what I mean but when he ain't good he's fucking bad it's a bit like me when I'm in bed with a chick do you know what I mean if, it, if I'm up for it she'll have the best three minutes of her life but if I can't be arsed, I'll settle for... Anyway. And, and, and Endo, I like Endo. He's all right. Boy, come on. He's a championship player at best. Don't give me all that shit. When we signed him in the summer, they were all out, weren't they? Do you see him all in, in summer? Klopp's wanted him ever... Like, ever since he was born, Adam Naylor says. Klopp's wanted him since he was this big. <laughs> He's still that big. <laughs> uh, this is before we've had a drink on Friday. <sighs> Will have offended someone anyway. Job well done. Right, guys, I'm off. So, anyway. <clears throat> All right, guys. Uh, Rumours that George is off at the end of January. Uh, confirm it. Well, I can't say confirmation. Um, very credible claims that he's been in Germany this week. Uh, the two clubs I mentioned that I've already forgotten. Leverkusen and Stuttgart. He was in, well, he was in those, uh, in those cities or towns, whatever. I don't know if they're about fucking Germany. Only what my granddad told me. Um, and those two names have been put forward as suggestions. All right, what do you what do you think about them players? What do you what do you, the the Hincapie one or whatever he's called? Uh, I, I I don't know. To, listen, if it's not Jack Daniels or John Smith, I can't it. Could, it could be Hincapie, Hincapie, Hincapie. Uh, it could be Hincapie, Hincapie, Pie. I like that. I like the sound of that. Pie. We'll have a pie. Uh, uh, uh. See, this is what I mean. This shite that they put on Twitter. Look. Liverpool have been beaten to the sign of Lucas Baraldo, according to one report. There's nothing else there. you got to click through and read it. You know what I mean? Fuck it. And then get about 20,000 fucking adverts. Get to fuck. <coughs> right. Friday. Get here Friday afternoon. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna watch on. I'm gonna make a list on Friday, because and if I don't see your name right, there's gonna be serious fucking. There's gonna be serious business, guys. Tripod will be out. The well, tripod's out now, but I don't mean out like this. I mean like back in the day tripod. Do you know what I'm saying? I need to go, guys. I'm fucking melting here. All right, be good. Don't forget to thumbs up the video. Uh, hit that love out if you want to buy me a drink and read the video description for all my social media links and shit like that. Um, I'll speak to you later. Listen, I hope you're all right. Jokes apart, just having a giggle. Uh, but the, the stuff I've said in the video um, about George, where he's going, where he's been, the areas he's been in, the suggestions of those players being put forward, that is seriously, uh, you know, genuine and not mucking around. All right, guys, speak to you in a bit. All right.